What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar from GeeksterLabs.com, and today I got a really cool product I want to show you that was sent to me from a company called Zungle, and this is the Viper V2 Bluetooth Audio Sunglasses, and they look like this. As you can see, they're basically sunglasses. They have polarized lenses. This pair right here I have is the gray pair. They come in gray, black, and white, all matte finish. You can get a variety of different lenses to come with them. And if you want to purchase additional lenses, those are even 20 bucks for that. You can swap out the lenses if you'd like. So this pair of uh, sunglasses actually retails for 209. They're currently on sale right now at this time for 129 on their website. And if you use my promo code Geekster, you can get 10 bucks off of that price. So even if it's the regular price or the sales price, if you get it right now, either way, you can get 10 bucks off that promo code will never expire and it'll be good to go. So like I said, this is a pair of basically Bluetooth sunglasses that have built-in bone conduction uh, technology built into the side rails here that pump in audio and music into your skull. And that's how you listen to your music. So it's quite a different experience than what you normally usually go through when you're using headphones or earphones that go into like earbuds that go into your ears. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the build quality, the comfort slash fit of this pair of uh, sunglasses, and also most importantly, the sound quality of the Viper 2s. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs of the Zungle V2s, okay? So first off, these feature 150 milliamp battery, and that will give you 100 hours of standby time and four hours of continuous play time when you're listening to music and with having them on top of your head. So in the back, we have the Pogo plugs, and this is what you'll use to charge up the sunglasses themselves. It takes about an hour to fully charge them up. And so this does feature this uh, different type of proprietary plug that comes with it because this allows it to be more water resistant, sweat proof. So if you can use this to work out, and if it does drizzle or rain on them a little bit, they are fine, they are okay to use. The version ones had a micro USB cable that was used to charge them up. I think I might prefer that a little bit more just because I have lots of micro USB cables. So I only have one of the proprietary plug that came with this. So if I mess it up, if I break it or, or lose it or whatever, I'll have to buy another one. Whereas if I lost the micro USB cable that came with it, I could just use one of my other micro USB cables to charge it. So I can see why they switched it out, but I still kind of would have preferred to have the micro USB cable. So when you plug them in, it actually has a really cool LED display light on the sides of the sunglasses it'll turn red when they need to be charged up and when they fully charge up it'll be blue to let you know that they are ready to go and like I said it'll take it should take only one hour to fully charge them up so when it comes to controls and buttons this pair of sunglasses has functions for listening to music and for answering phone calls so first off if you press both of these buttons right here that's what turns on the device itself if you click this button over here one time that initiates the AI control so you can use Siri or you can use Google Voice with your device if you click this button on this side right here that's what you can use to play and pause your music if you wanted to use for, uh, or, or also for answering phone calls. And there's also two buttons right here on the inside. It's kind of hard to see them, but if you press the top one, it's for going back on music, on a listening to music, and you press this bottom right here, that goes forward listening to music. That's also what you would use to reject phone calls. And then the buttons that we have on this side here, this is volume up and volume down whenever you're listening to music. So you can control your music that way as well. So you can see these are all intuitive. They're kind of tucked away in here, so it takes some time to get used to pressing them when they're in on the inside of the glasses. But that's basically how all the buttons work that's what you would use to control playback and also uh, answering phone calls so when it comes to the build quality these are predominantly made of plastic everything is made of plastic there is some some silicone uh, padding on the inside of this of the glasses themselves to kind of make it do a really good grip of holding them on top of your head we'll talk about the comfort slash fit about that in just a second but I'm really impressed by the way they stay on your on your head which is very nice so overall they're plastic they are slightly heavier than a pair of normal sunglasses that you would normally use but Barely, barely by much. I wear glasses all the time, 100% of the time, except when I'm sleeping, obviously. And I didn't have an issue wearing these on my face, like for a couple hours at a time. And they were never, I never felt like they were too heavy or too, uh, too much weight or bulk on my face. So as far as goes, everything seems very nice. The lenses are very nice. They are polarized lenses and you can tell they're a good quality lenses, good for UV protection from your eyes and things like that. Lots of different colors and variations to pick from. So like the ones I have here, like the bluish green ones, they also have some reddish ones, some smoke colored ones, different things like that. Like I said, you could purchase additional ones for 20 bucks if you want to swap them out and you can swap them out yourselves. Okay, so now let's talk about the comfort slash fit of this pair of sunglasses. Now I have seen some reviews where people feel like they are a little too tight on the sides of your head. Uh, I know for a fact I have a very large head and I didn't feel that that was really the case. I definitely can feel some pressure being pushed onto the side of my temples, but that's kind of the point, right? They need to make that bone conduction uh, technology touching your head in order to push the sound into your head, into your skull, and that's how you listen to them. So I can see the point of why they're being so tight, but the other reason why I like them being so tight is because they don't feel like they're gonna fall off at all. Like I feel like if I was to work out with these and run around with these, which I did a little bit, never did I once feel like they were gonna fall off my face even while I was sweating. So that never felt like it was an issue. I think some people with smaller heads definitely won't feel like they're too tight, but the people that do have larger heads, you may feel like it's a little snug, but I, I got used to it very quickly and I didn't feel like they were too tight on my head. And they definitely don't feel like they're 
they're too heavy. Because like I said, I wear glasses all day long. And these glasses are not the smallest glasses either. These are kind of big glasses too. And these barely feel that much different from those. So that the weight didn't bother me at all. The tightness of them didn't bother me at all. And the overall, the, the build and the, 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 the comfort of having them on my face was, was fine. No issues with me whatsoever. Okay, so now let's get into the most important part, which is the sound quality part. So when it comes to normal headphones, uh, the sound quality is usually what everyone wants to know about. But you have to keep in mind that this is a different listening experience when it comes to listening to music with the Zungle uh, Viper 2. So it's pushing audio into your head, okay? So keep that in mind. It kind of, the best way I could describe it to you is if you took a pair of earpods or your headphone earbuds and pressed them against the sides of your head, that's kind of the vibe that you're getting from it. There's a little, it's a little bit better audio with these, but that's kind of the similar sensation that you get when you listen to them. The good thing about this is it's obviously open ear. So if you're at the gym, if you're running on the street, things like that, if you want to be aware of what's going on around you, you can still hear everything just fine. One thing to keep in mind, guys, if you're in a loud environment, you are not going to be able to hear the audio very well coming from these sunglasses. I tested these out personally when I did, uh, when I was mowing my grass and I was using the, the weed eater. I could not hear any audio coming from the sunglasses at all, because keep in mind, it's open ear. So you'll be able to hear everything. And this is pumping the audio into your temple. So the lawnmower I have is not very loud. It's not even a gas powered lawnmower. It's an it's electric one, but I still couldn't hear the music coming from this. And I'm using the weed ear, forget about it. So if you're going to be using this in an environment where it will be loud, uh, maybe if you're at the gym and they play loud music at the gym, you might not be able to hear the audio coming from the sunglasses. And this is what the sunglasses fully blasted all the way to the very top. And that's something I do want to mention to you guys when it comes to sound quality, I had to have these at, at the very, very highest, uh, full volume in order to hear anything from them at all. If you put a medium volume, I couldn't really hear the music very well. And so the, the audio quality, I don't want to compare the audio quality to the earphones because it's not the same experience. But don't expect to have really good thumping bass or really nuance of music or anything while using these. This is just meant to, meant, this is mostly meant for you to have audio when you, when you do want to have headphones or sunglasses on your face in different scenarios where you want to be able to hear what's going on around you. Any kind of outdoor activities where there's not a lot of noise, I can see that these, this would be really handy to have and kind of an enjoyable experience to use. But this is definitely not something that's going to replace your earphones at all. So don't expect to buy these and be like, oh, I don't need to have any headphones anymore. You're going to, there's going to be situations and scenarios where you will want to have earphones to listen to your music. The one thing I want to keep in mind as well is if you are someone that commutes a lot and you are, uh, you worry a lot about sound leakage, if if you do have these fully blasted up, if someone's close enough to you, they'll be able to hear what you're listening to. Maybe not super clearly as well as you are because it's pumping it into your skull, but you can still hear some noise. Overall, this is a really cool product and I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. So one of, definitely one of the things I think they should do for the next version, or maybe for this current version, is include a pouch. It doesn't include any kind of pouch for that. So like you just get the sunglasses and that's basically it. this and the cable and the warranty guys. There's no like soft pouch. I think it would be nice if, for, especially for a pair of sunglasses that retail for hundred dollars, at least have a soft pouch for me to keep them in so I can throw them in my bag and not worry about the nice polarized lenses getting all scratched up. And the other thing that's not a really big deal, but just something I did notice. I don't know if you guys would make a big deal about, it, but they do not close completely up. That's basically as low as they go. So if you do buy this pair of uh, sunglasses and you notice, why can't I completely flatten them out like normal sunglasses? It's because of the way the bands are designed. Design. There's not much room in there for them to close completely flat. That's not a big deal to me. Just something I want to let you guys know in case you do purchase them and you notice what's wrong with it. Because I kind of played around with them for like 20 minutes or so, seeing am I folding these wrong? Why aren't they going completely flat? But they did let me know, yes, because of the circuitry and things built into the bands and because of the bulk of them, they're not able to close completely flat. So not a big deal, but just something to think about. So that is it for me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. I answer every single question in all my videos and I always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. If you like to check out some of my other video reviews, like maybe a pair of headphones up here, or maybe my latest video down here. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on my face to do that right now. And I will see you guys in the next video review.